Hello everybody, we got the full reveal of season one reloaded. Now we're gonna go all we're gonna go over everything in the blog post. So let's get straight to it because there's a lot to cover in this. Um, we got a general overview of season one reloaded arrives um, January. 17th at 9 p.m. PT across all platforms or depending where you are. We will be getting patch notes from Sledgehammer Games to be available prior prior to the release of Season 1 Reloaded. Here's, here's what's coming. Alright everybody, now this is what's coming in Season one reloaded next week on January 17th moving on to multiplayer multiplayer is first so we're gonna jump straight into it um, so we get new 6v6 multiplayer map introducing team gunfight infected headquarters the boys LTM and challenge event and multiplayer rank play starting off we get our new 6v6 map Rio well, we already got a gameplay of it in the trailers so it's a 6v6 map 6, 6v6 map uh, moving on to next new modes team gunfight headquarters and infected so that will be added to the playlist um, for new modes and for private matches hopefully soon um, team gunfight, same thing like another thing, you get a team 4 or 3, it'll be 6v6 across the team gunfight, so. Headquarters, same thing like you see in MW2, just stand by the satellite and you will get points, and infected, you will get killed and you'll be one of the same operators that you can see on the image but try to stay alive moving on to the boys limited time mode and event challenge so we got a train right here very cool very cool he looks like someone on the mass singer <laughs> um, so these are all the challenges you will be getting um, you get 15 operator Kimbo eliminations. You get a weapon charm. Get 7 operator eliminations using lethal equipment reward, double, double XP token. Get 2 operator eliminations in a single life with the overkill vest equip 5 times. Large decal. Get 4 operator eliminations using the MTZ 762 you get a battle pass tier skip deactivate 20 pieces of equipment using DDoS and you get a reward of emblem get one operator heat vision elimination in the boys mode reward calling card and for the final reward you get the Boys Special LGLMG Weapon Blueprint featuring four attachments equipped with a whopping 150 round drum mag and incendiary ammunition for aggressive fire. Alright, now moving on to rank play. Rank play is new. Um, I mean, it's not really new. It's been in Call of Duty since a long time. Um, this isn't new, but we do get new skins right here. Um, so it's just like, uh, rank play as before, where you jump in, you get stars to progress, you get rewards, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of competitive, so... And now we're jumping into rank play maps and modes. So CDL search and destroy, hardpoint and control, the same modes that that will be transferred over to 
that have been transferred over to MW2 to carry forward to Modern Warfare 3. So, um, these are all of the rewards for rank play for Season 1 Reloaded. So, if you want to pause the video and look at the rewards, it, they are highlighted right now for you guys to see them. Alright, now moving on for more skill division rewards. Silver, bronze and silver, gold through crimson, and top 250. So, if you want to pause, read the rewards, yes, you can. So you get an emblem, animated emblem reward, an animated uh, emblem, operator skin, and weapon charm rewards and same thing you get but you get a calling card so now jumping into zombies we're gonna be jumping into zombies and if you guys haven't defeat the red worm I would say how about you go do it right now or when you have the time for it because it's very fun to do um, we're gonna be getting a new warlord um, will be in the exclusion zone in the form of South Korean so uh, the new warlord will drop um, new um, will drop loot same thing as the red worm and all the other stuff it will be on top of a skyscraper in Zeravan City so if you go on top of the skyscraper to defeat the warlord you should have a squad that's enough to get past her um, skills and uh, and turrets and drones so warlord uses drones turrets and a Wilson as her main line of defense squad skilled enough to get past her initial um, get past her uh, main line of defense will find an exclusive opponent quality capable of an attack cool all right now now we're jumping into warzone warzone has is having a big overhaul including doing the champions quest so first things first here's a general review of what to expect in warzone coming next week on january 17th we get the champions quest gulag night vision public event grab a weapon case and a new way to escape um, so moving on to champions quest you get a new skin on the right and you have to disarm the bomb arm count down all that kind of stuff same thing um, something new to consider by doing um the champions quest the first step when 30 games total within season one or five consecutive matches in a single match complete that and the next steps will fall into place only the most elite squads need apply so moving on with this I will explain um, about the champions quest so if you get 30 wins within season one before season two you get the champions quest if you get 30 wins or you can play it five games in a row and you get that champions quest so if you do it multiple times you get the nuke skin and a nuke blueprint which is green I like this skin very cool so I'm um, probably not gonna go for it but if I have a squad that's good enough then I'll go for it but yeah um, moving on to the new night vision gulag public event so gulag is gonna be night vision so now gulag is where you can see but you get night vision goggles now so that will be coming next week something new to consider is the weapon case so if you get the weapon case and stay alive with it you're gonna buy a uh, a helicopter 
called in by purchasing a covert exfil. They and their teammates earn exclusive rewards. So it might be six weapon cases you will get. Um, and you get six rewards of that or how many rewards it will go for. So it might be six, it might be more. We're going to have to find out when Season 1 Reloaded comes next week. But you do need to purchase a Covert Xville with your squad to extract the weapon case. If you don't, you might have to get a win to stay alive in the game to extract with the weapon case. But best bet, I'll say this for you guys, for experts or beginners, go for the weapons case. Xfil with a covert Xfil helicopter. That's the best bet. Um, now we're diving into what a uh, secondary win condition is for the covert Xfil. So if you get the covert Xfil, speaking of covert Xfil, players can now Xfil the match early with the help of a covert Xfil. With only five X Vils available to purchase per match for a high price in buy stations before the gulag closes, a covert X Vil calls in a helicopter that can fly any player out of the match. Ideally, with the weapons case in their possession, players can also complete to earn the most successful. Covert X fills with the new Covert X fill leadership stats. So you can X fill Warzone early if you get the weapons case and get a Covert X fill. So that's something new to consider um, if you guys want to go for the weapons case. Um, a more general overview of what's coming next we get the two new weapons, a new SMG, and a new LMG. The two new weapons are. HRM9 SMG and this will be an uh, uh, an armory unlock challenge so if you guys play zombies you might unlock it faster multiplayer you might unlock it more faster so this one I'm gonna might go and get gold and platinum on so um, tag the tag evolver um, LMG, it's a new LMG, and it looks pretty cool. I might go for this. Um, how can you unlock it? Well, that's a question. How to unlock the base weapon? Complete a weekly challenge. So, if you complete the weekly challenges, you get the new LMG. Now, moving on to store bundles and tracer pack for the limited time limited time event to bump up that XP to get some stuff but there are going to be challenges so you can't get XP it's not an XP thing but if you like, would like to run these skins you can if you want or if you're not interested in more boys skins then that's all it comes up to you so we get a train operator bundle um, you get uh, uh, tracers featuring the with assault rifle and the SMG. Um, you with this bundle, you get a weapon sticker, a call animated calling card, a weapon charm, animated emblem, loading screen, and finishing move firecracker. She looks pretty cool. It's an operator bundle. Uh, with this bundle, you will get a weapon sticker, weapon charm, animated emblem, and finishing move. So that's what it comes and the and there's there's no animated trace there's no animations, they're just tracers with an assault rifle and an LMG. So yes. And a blueprint as well. Um more to announce so that is the end of the bundles um, now we're going to get into CDL announcements um, stay up to date with the Call of Duty League 
and the team packs are already out in store right now if you guys want to go check those out see if you guys want to grab them and whatnot so very cool uh, they will feature animated calling cards and whatnot so um, so that is the end for the for the blog post for um, so yeah that is the end for I can't talk right now at the end too much information I have been reading and discussing over this but I will say that is the end for um, the blog post of what's coming in season one reloaded next week we got new weapons we got rank play coming if you want to do what the rank play we also got something new in warzone called um, the weapon case we get a new warlord and zombies and whatnot so this is a goodbye to you guys I will have more videos out in the future in the upcoming week and what not more shorts you guys like my shorts so I'll get more shorts out and I'll get more videos out let me down down in the comments what are you excited for and what are you most looking forward to and what not so this is this is JG Star Wars and I am out peace out everybody and have a great day